Hello, my great and wonderful people. We welcome you once again to our today's episode of this program. And today we get this message for our table when it's with the receiver from Ohanese Youths when it's that they give quick notice as well now to the Fulani Hesme to vacate South East. And the title of this one thought say you get 48 hours to vacate Southeast or they treat you like bush animals. This one are the message when BC Ohane the youth sent across to the Fulani Hesmen. And before we go ahead to read out the full content of this news, in case you didn't the first day when you see the hear the battle so they channel be this will say you are highly welcome. I bet make you not forget to help us hit that subscribe button and also the small bell when you see the near so that anytime when you see we take bring a new update, you know what the software to look for and it will only come to you like a message. And our prayer remain be said, they say we want to be seated to support us on the channel. And they say we want God with the same people when we will support you for everything when you good when you put your hands to do in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All right, we'll go straight and see what thing we get for here. And as we put our hand there for inside this matter, the comic us understand say the youth wind of the pinnacle Igbo social social body, the Ohanese Igbo, say they don't allow a 48 hours final proposal to each Fulani Hesme when it be said the day with AK 47 for any part of the Southeast or they deal with them like just animals. And again, the contour say the ultimatum say if they come for the hills of the revelation, when it be say it come over 332 Fulani camps, when it be say it they all across southeast, when they occupy with Fulani Hesme, when it be say they day with AK 47. And again, the contour say according to Vanguard, say a former deputy inspector general of police, where he named Nadik Celestine Okoye. He talk for media interview when he be say he grant say 332 Fulani Hesme camp say na in day for the southeast when he be say the day heavily armed with AK-47 rifle all across the five states of the southeast zone when he be say that they wait to unleash terror for Ndigbo. And I suppose our hand they pick the contour say the national president of Ohanese Youth Council. When they be say in name now, Igboyaka o Igboyaka. In talk say this revelation so say it they in line with the earlier similar report when they be say they bring by civil society organization. And now say Igbo youths say they not go sit down idle to watch these terrorists they circulate and they invade Igbo land. It can talk say therefore he warned of Fulani Hesme with AK-47 rifles, say may they immediately vacate their hidden location for Igbo land within 48 hours or risk their life and be treated like animals anywhere when they be see the day or see them with weapons. The OYC, when it also mean Ohanese Youth Council, they also accuse President Muhammad Buhari and the security agencies the way when it be said that they maintain criminal silence over the disturbing revelation when it be said that they bring. And the contour say they will also be accountable for any security breach or genocide when it be said it be happen for Igbo land. And according to OYC, when he also mean Ohanese Youth Council, the talk say Igbo people said they will leave them with no option than to resort to self-defense when he be say it will eventually lead to a lot of problems for inside this country. Igbo Yaka, for a press statement by his own special assistant on media and publicity, when he be say he named na Chuku Emeka Chimerue, he talk say any tribe when he be say he plot to attack the Igbo. Say they will need to prepare very well. And for us to conclude this matter, the court also talks say, may President Muhammad Buhari and every other security agencies for inside this country, when it be said that they aid and also they abate the criminals, Fulani Hesme for inside this country, may they understand say, they don't do everything when it be said it is necessary to ensure Nigeria really break up. All right, my great and wonderful people, this one are the news now when it be said with the receive from the Ohanese Youth Council when it be said that they send a letter of ultimatum again to this Fulani Hesme, which is 48 hours for them to vacate any camp of the Southeast when it be said that they try to hide their self or else they were ready to treat them like animals 
na him be this very one. And before we leave, we na make una share una opinion with us on the comment section. One thing we want try to talk here be say not be just to make statement, not be to make public statement because we don't receive a lot of ultimatum, ultimatum, ultimatum. Up till now, these people they still there for inside bushes and everywhere they do waiting that they do before. Yes. Now, so this uh, governor of uh, all those states, when they say name now, Femi, Abik, uh, what is the color, Akere Dolu, they go give ultimatum up to now. Fulani has me see they roam about the, the, the streets and everywhere for all those states. Now, he don't come outside, say they kick against anybody when they say they go for this agitation of Odua nation. So now, for us to put this word to practice, now it matter. Just imagine this uh, Mieti Allah as the issue statement before you know what it they happen, they implement them. As these people talk, say Nigeria belongs to them. Now, so that they work every day, they employ every strategy to make sure, say, they bring this issue to reality. To the extent that they, they, they position, they kill people for inside this country to make sure, say, they initiate that very law and the principle. And the hit, we all the feel them. So not be for us to call the come out of the issue public statement without action when it be say they back them up. We don't tire of all those things. If we not say we not act, make we not just forget. Let everybody fold their hands, close our mouths. They watch these people. They do what it that they do. <laughs> so I joined IPOP on 17th of March, 2020. Now I was recruited as a ESN member on November. On November 2027. So, and the first movement I participate, I was on 20. 4th of January 2020 when we are coming down from our nature straight to Olo. So on um, accidental we jump a police checkpoint at Olo in Hala Road when we have attack exchange of bullets with them. So two policemen were killed and we discover three AK for seven and we burned down their Siena. So the second movement I participated was on 13th of January 2021 when the joint task force attack us at our camp in Okuro, Olo, in Imo State. So one policeman we are killed, but we did not discover it's gone. So, the other movements, as, as as example, on 5th of January 2020, my men went to movement where they killed two policemen and burned their, their motto in Omotanze, already in Omo State. And they discovered two AK-47 also there. And the other one is on 25th of January, when, when they attack, when they have exchange of uh, fire with army in Olu Owere Road. And four army were killed. And they discover their AK-47. So the other movement, I, not, I cannot remember the date is at Inhiala Road, that was on December. That was when our the, the guy that led that particular movement was shot down there and they discovered two AK-47 there. And the driver was killed and two policemen were killed and the man was also killed. I'm a member of ESL. I joined 217. I'm a second in command in Special Sports, ESL. I participate in the war the shot us at camp. They attack us in the camp. And they will kill one policeman and throw rifle 
and uh, attack, and the second one is the one that uh, we have open fire with the soldiers. They, they are fucked. So I get this injury. If I get this injury in my leg, they arrest me in the hospital. In the hospital in uh, in Noka. That's where they arrest me. Killing the police or army is never for intention or is never in our mind. Uh, and I must say it, our leader, Mazibu High Tempo, that leads our operator, that leads our team, whenever I want to move, he used to tell us one thing, that we make sure that if we jump any force, that we should not fire except the other house to fire. So, but being as I don't know I'm going to put it as people that not wear trend. Whenever we jam any any police van or team, before you could say command, we will start with firing. Even people at the back will be firing before the people at the front. So it's never his intention that he never advised us in one day that we should see them, that we should kill them. So but my advice there is because I believe that with that nonsense, you can't get sense. And I believe some youths out there will learn many things from this. And I believe God will help many of them so that they cannot fall in this kind of victim. I'm a member of HIPOP, together with the coordinator of my unit. Then, my wife is a member. My son is a member. My daughter is a member. Then my my wife and uh, brother is a member. I find I'm not a member of IPO. Only but I find a AK-47 in the forest. Then I sold it to one man, a hunter, with four hundred thousand because of my wife's condition in the hospital. That is the reason why I should be gone after they bought my house. All right, my great and wonderful people. I believe say all of you don't watch that video. This one at the set of ESN when they visit the volunteer they are set to defend the land. Na in this Nigerian army, they hold on daily basis, they arrest on daily basis. Whereas the people, when they say that they destroy the land, no one, no single one, when they say these people, they don't bring to account. No one. But they get the time, they get the ammunition, they get the logistics to make sure say, they arrest the people when they fight against these criminal elements. This full and it me when they say that they, they hold AK-47, they terrorize everywhere. No one of the full and it me when they say that they hold. Now, these people, they, they see the issue statement on a daily basis, day in and day out. Will they give you 28 hours? Will they give you one minute? Will they give you one second? Now, those ones will solve the issue. We are tired of public statements. Make una not defend relevance. Make una do something when they say yes. It will be visual before everyone to know, say yes, we really get people. Either youth or elders. Either leaders or individually. Yet the time don't reach for us to stand to hold ourselves accountable for the things when we say they will happen for our land. Because nobody go do one for us. Now we get the responsibility to decide what we will allow to happen for our space. All right, my great and wonderful people, I will leave Unana Mekuna share Unana opinion with us on the comment section. And before then, I'll be making not forget to help us hit that subscribe button in case you never subscribe. And as you do so, God Almighty will bless you. And you, when you don't already be part and parcel of this great family, when you visit the help of the share this broadcast, anytime when you visit, we make them. God Almighty will bless you. I'll be making not forget to help us share this one as well so that if you reach our brothers and sisters all over the world because we believe on one thing, say information, not power. And as you do so, God Almighty will bless you. We would like to draw the conclusion of this program. We'll see you again when we see you. Remember, we love you all. Bye-bye.